All right, so once your wine making process is done, you have a wine, but there's still matter in suspension in this wine, there's still carbon dioxide in the wine, so you're gonna need a few months to basically stabilize the wine for the chemical components of the aromas, of the tannins, uh, of the bouquet to basically come together and create something that's gonna be more uh, drinkable. Um, so it's a lot of work um, that can be done in big vats, uh, in oak barrels, in cement vats, in uh, stainless steel vats, many, many options. Each option will bring about its own uh, set of characteristics and uh, um, aromatic uh, identity basically to the wine. Um, as a winemaker, there's several things you need to do during that time. You're going to do the bleed off, which is basically uh, uh, you know, passing on the, the wine from one vat to the other to separate the wine from the lees. Uh, you're going to top off all the, um, all the barrels um, to prevent oxidation in these barrels. You're going to filter the wine. Many things basically to prevent um, uh, future uh, threat to the wine, which could be chemical or microbiological threats uh, that basically are going to be a problem commercially for the winery. So absolutely crucial time for wine after fermentation, what we call le élevage, the raising literally of the, um, of the wine, which has to do with somehow a bit of an education uh, of the wine.